Ray from the Gamersphere Network, and in this video, I'm going to show you where to get the Relic sil Silver Sword called uh, Moonblade. So go ahead and bring up your map. The location of the Moonblade is right over here at this unknown location uh, in the water. It's located in between Hangman's Tree and Crow's Perch. So you can begin in either of those lo uh, locations, or if you have the Linden Vale uh, fast travel waypoint. You can start there as well. I don't have Lindenville yet, so I'm going to go ahead and just start from Crow's Perch and ride over to that uh, direction down the road. So the Moonblade has four modifiers that roll on it. Uh, the first one is the Erden Sign Intensity, second would be the Critical Hit Chance and the Critical Hit Damage, and then the last one is a Chance to Freeze. And so this uh, Relic Silver Sword is really good. For fighting wraiths, because it has that increased or inside intensity, and you use the magic trap in order to make them material form so that you can attack them. So that's actually going to uh, help you take down wraiths uh, much easier. Uh, this sword. So let's uh, head on over that way. We're getting pretty close here. We're actually going to uh, hop off Roach down here by the beach and uh, take a boat, which is right over here. I'm going to hop off and get this boat here and get in. There we go. Hold it. So you can either swim out or you can take a boat. I like taking the boat just so that uh, once I get the treasure, I can just come up and hop back into the boat. I don't have to swim to shore and have the drowners chase me. So uh, the treasure seems to be right below us, so I'm going to go ahead and dive on in. Okay. There's the chest. Let's look for the chest here. It's locked. So let me try this skeleton here. Okay, the skeleton has a key on it. Let's head back to the treasure. Yeah, those drowners are already attacking them. Gotta do this quick. Okay, so there's the, the wound blade. The surface can the boat and then check out the sword. This is why I brought the boat. Alright. Now we're safe. Okay. So here's the blade right here. And for these modifiers, it rolled 2% for the earthen side, 11% for the critical hit damage. 2% for critical hit chance and 1% for the chance to freeze. So I believe the max rolls for the Erden side intensity is 5%, for the critical hit damage is 15, um, for the critical hit chance is 5%, and chance to freeze I believe is always 1%. And there's always three sockets. Um, so the damage uh, and the modifiers can change and the required level changes, but the sockets and the chance to freeze stay the same. So um, Go ahead and check out this uh, sword. It's pretty handy to have when you're fighting wraiths. You can just equip this and use whatever um, runes you've installed in the sockets and then do some damage. 